I'm Roxanne Holthouse. I am the Director of Research and Education at Simtegro. Uh, Simtegro is a nurse-founded company, so it is a product for nurse educators and nursing students made by nurses, nurse educators and nursing students. Our goal at Simtegro is to help nursing faculty, nurse educators, train nursing students in the process of safe medication administration. So our product is 100% focused on teaching and then reinforcing the skills of safe medication administration so that students have unlimited opportunity to practice administering medications and going through that process, both dispensing medications from a unit dose dispensing cabinet and then taking those medications to the bedside and completing that bedside administration. And one of the highlights of our system is that it incorporates both sides, both the dispensing from the cabinet using the digital dispensing as well as the bedside administration. So I wanna kind of take you through a medication pass as if I were a student. So if a student comes up to our system, we're gonna get them started. So we've got the dispensing screen here and then the EMAR that they're gonna to take to the bedside. Our product does include a full medication cabinet, so they're able to go in and access that cabinet just like they would in a hospital setting. So what we're showing essentially would be what was in drawer one of our medication cabinet. So I'm gonna go ahead and access both of my systems, not my actual fingerprint, just a touch screen, but it reinforces that safety and security of MedPass. I'm gonna select our patient for today on each screen and so what that's going to do, and actually I'm gonna close this down and switch to my dispense side. And so this is completely accessible by students and faculty, generic login, perfect. All right, so I'm gonna select my patient. And so what it allows you to do is walk your students through all of those critical elements of MedPass and the rights of medication administration. So starting right at the top, making sure that they've got a patient match. So the EMAR that I've brought in and my dispensing screen, do I have the same patient? So that's my first step. The next step, and we're gonna give Linda this first medication on her orders, making sure that they've got a match. So looking at the order, the right med, the right dose, the right route, the right frequency, the right time. So it really brings to life all of those rights of medication administration. So I'm going to do those checks. And when I'm convinced that I've got the right med, I'm going to select a dispense. It's going to tell me exactly where in the cabinet to go to get that med. It's going to reinforce the med and it's going to remind me of the dose I'm going to pull. So I'm going to go to my cabinet. I'm going to look for pocket one and I'm going to go through and I'm gonna select that medication. And then again, that second critical check of checking the medication against that EMAR. It's amoxicillin, it's 500 milligrams, it's an oral dose. Our system has several ways to use our ingrained formulary. We can use just this card alone, which is barcoded, so they can take this to the bedside. They can attach this to a simulated medication, or we provide a PDF of all of our barcodes as stickers. And so they can stick them to the medications and load them that way. So we're gonna do that comparison. Everything looks good, so I'm ready to take this to the bedside for administration. Before I leave, we wanna always reinforce to our students that they lock out before they walk away. So now what your student would do is pick up the meds they've prepared. They would pick up their EMAR, their barcode scanner, and they would go to the bedside. So I'm gonna bring the bedside to us. So I'm gonna bring our patient over here. So if I'm at the bedside, I've woken up my barcode scanner and I'm ready to start my med pass at the bedside. So I'm going to click at bedside here. I am ready to scan my patient ID and I've got a patient match. So I can go ahead and scan any of the meds I've brought in. And then here again, that last critical check. So making sure that the med I'm about to give to my patient is amoxicillin, it's 500 milligrams, it's an oral dose, and I wanna make sure that I'm giving it at a time that it's due. Everything is good, I pass my med. The last thing with any med pass to close the loop is to do that documentation. So this allows the student to go through and practice that documentation. And then one of the highlights of our software is when the student clicks done, the system's completely reset. So now as faculty or the sim tech or the person working in the lab, they don't have to go in and re-inventory. They don't have to go in and reset so that the next student can go. So right now, 
This goes back into pocket one. This is completely ready for use by your next student. So there's not any of that in between practice or in between sessions of simulation resetting. A um, couple of other things just about the software. So this is app based, so it does not require Wi-Fi. It is a generic student username. So this is not a student subscription. We're not collecting any student or personal identifying information. It really all happens in front of your program's firewall. Um, additionally, you put in your own patients. You can add as many patients as you like to the software. And then inside of each patient profile, you can add as many uh, medications as you like. Um, once you develop that patient file, it's editable at any time. So you can add patients, you can delete patients, you can change orders. So you have that file. So just like any other file, you can edit it and update it. Um, the system is customizable, so you can purchase as many cabinets, as many dispensing iPads, and as many EMAR iPads as you like. Um, you can build onto the system, so you can start small, and you can expand as your program or your needs expand. So um, I think as nurses who passed meds in a hospital, as well as nurses who taught MedPass to nursing students, we feel like we really hit on all of those um, high need areas, the challenges that educators face in teaching MedPass, the challenges that students have practicing MedPass, we feel like our system really meets all of those needs. So again, we are Sim2Grow and thanks.